I must admit, you've surprised me. I thought you were going to take off as soon as you'd gotten something from us. But I was wrong. I want you for a little soiree I'm planning. All right, fine. I need your help. It's about an artifact, and our goal is simple. We're going to purchase it. Our seller is a freelance operative in the city of Neon, which means the artifact is almost certainly stolen from someone. I just need a little more presence in the negotiation to show we're serious. And I think you'd be perfect. Ah, yes, you're intimately familiar with the area. No need to sugarcoat, then. It's going to be treacherous, but I'm hoping our combined talents will be able to handle it. What do you say? I just need a ride to Neon, we talk to a few of your fellow Neon citizens, and then we're back for drinks. To the Volai star system, then. I admit I'm a little excited. Smell that? Construction. Incense. Industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of castle mass. Quite true. But also opportunity. Our opportunity. We need to stop by the Stroud Eklund offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Over here, there's something we need to discuss. Got a minute to chat? I'm glad I finally caught up with you. I'm from the Trackers Alliance. We have a proposal for you. What? Oh, got it. You're trying to make a joke. <laughs> Emphasis on trying. Yes, it's a proposal. No, not that kind of proposal. The Trikers Alliance has been following your exploits and believe you have what it takes to join our ranks. You're being invited to our new headquarters in Aquila City. There you'll meet with Agent Number One. If you decide to consider our offer, they'll guide you through our initiation process. I suppose we will. I'll be heading out soon if there's nothing more. Remember, Trackers Alliance HQ in Akela City. Speak to Agent Number One. Word to the wise. Your home away from home here on Beyond. Now is the time to enhance your life. Here at Inhale. Don't go causing trouble. Save it for someone who gives a damn. Mr. Strout. We didn't know you were coming in. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. Is she in today? Yes. Uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mrs. Trump, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. 
They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. I see my partner has brought a labor dispute to my office. No, I did not. Look, this isn't the time or the place. I disagree. I don't see a reason we can't have this discussion. I won't belittle your position with some speech about how Stroud Eklund pays people more than average, or our years of charitable contributions. The fact is, the invisible hand of the market does not give out its gifts equally. We are literally in a tower, standing above the streets of the city. The metaphor isn't lost on me. No, I won't. Stroud Eklund, its people, its employees, its partners, its investors, they are who I care about, not the entirety of Neon. I wish I could say I was a better person, and that I would gladly martyr myself and my company for a better tomorrow. But I am not, and I won't. Don't let that cold air fool you. I've seen her move mountains for others. If my partner is done undermining my position, why doesn't he tell me just how you two met? Merely pointing out your finer qualities, Issa. And my colleague here is from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers my partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way, I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Oh, very well. Why don't we discuss why you're here? It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Oh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? Exactly. You can see how removed my husband is from the groundwork. If he's overlooked something so obvious. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers. Alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise.
Feel like making a purchase today? Hey there, friend. Welcome to New Wolves. If you're looking for any specific goods, Rosa and I guarantee we'll beat Sieghart's lousy selection every time. I understand that. But when you're dealing with a snake like Siegert, normal commerce practices go right out the window. That man has absolutely no respect for the business community on Neon. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group buys. Worst of all, he pays off Neon security to keep his place safe. By standing up to the lowlifes who come in here expecting me to just hand over all of my money. I refuse to be run out of business or be forced to pay protection. Yeah, sure, if all you care about is yourself. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Information isn't usually free. I don't usually package pieces of intel, but maybe I could. Okay. I don't know much, but I did have one of my freelancers tail the seller back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. Now, James, I don't want you to get upset, but Administrator Bayou came by while you were out. Oh, yeah? His Majesty decided to come down from his throne and walk amongst us peasants? What did he want? Don't even Aren't you? 
Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, we have plenty of that, but why not try something different? New planet, new city, new experiences. It's what life's all about. Here, take a look at the menu. Now, I'm not going to lie, the Aurora is a bit expensive, but <laughs> let's face it. Can you really put a price on pleasure? Oh, Ben and I are good friends. <laughs> he personally gave me the job here at the Astral Lounge. Oh, he's a good man. Cares a lot about the citizens of Neon, making sure they're all employed and well taken care of. A real humanitarian. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. I'm afraid that would be a serious fire hazard. And I think it's only fair to warn you that the network security on our doors is state-of-the-art. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astral Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive for setting the most reasonable rate. A loss leader. I make you pay less now, in the hopes you'll pay more over time. Hmm. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Pretty amazing, isn't it? That's Borealis, only 19 years old, and yet she produces some of the most heart-pounding, trippiest electronic music you've ever heard. I don't know where she gets her inspiration, but I'm betting all that free Aurora she gets has something to do with it. Enjoy the lounge. Frank Rennick's all in a twist because his robot got vandalized. We had a good laugh about it back at the station. <laughs>
are you looking at? You're still so tense. Normally, once we're alone, your shoulders relax. They're taut. We're on to something remarkable. Maybe what I've always dreamed of. I can tell. I can see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me, then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. How are the preparations coming? Excellent. Good work. Let's head to the Astral Lounge. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Are they? <laughs> Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. Hell yeah! This is awesome! Oh, man. I'm flying right now. This place is insane! Hello. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Yeah? Hi! Having fun? I just saw Arcella walk by. Good job. Now, before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal, too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? This'll be fun. I find matching wits with the Neon Underworld to always be invigorating. Take it easy. Hey there. I don't like the look of you. So you, Stroud. 
You look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. Flexing the muscles already, huh? Fine. Am I to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? What the? Security! As you can see, we're in control. Take advantage of our generosity. Take the money. All right. Okay. It's all yours. Hope I never see any of you people ever again. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. Shall we? We have it. This couldn't have gone better. If you'll excuse me, I need to get out of town. Shall we head home? It's exciting to see this little venture paying off, but... We really do need to be careful. The artifacts were one thing, but this... Well, we really need to keep this to ourselves. Can you imagine if word of this got out? Very clever. But I'm serious. This could change everything. We need to figure out what this all means before someone else does. I guess we should be grateful we seem to be ahead of the pack, as it were. So far, no indications that anyone else has noticed what we're up to. Let's just hope that doesn't change with this newfound ability of yours. Goodbye. Stop right there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Ah. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. It's my employer's property. That's all I need to know. You gonna make me shoot you? Yeah? Say that again. My trigger finger is getting itchy. Not sure you can really back up all this tough talk. I... I... Don't move! I'm trying to be reasonable here. Huh. All right. But Nicholas Slayton isn't a man you want after you. Good luck with that. Sending our men into the Astral Lounge. Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly.